The following is a gauntlet turmoil match. The rules of the match are as follows. Two superstars will start in the ring. When one superstar is eliminated, a new superstar enters. Eliminations can occur by pinfall, submission, disqualification, or countouts. The match will be won if the first entrant eliminates all other entrants in the match. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion is here to run Imperium's gauntlet. be any traps tonight the WWE Universal Champion gets his hands on Imperium one by one you say that like it's good for the champ Saxton how much of him do you think is going to be left by the time he gets the good the champ has faced down the odds from night one Corey that's why they call him the dark horse <laughs> an early pin attempt and he kicks out he thought he could get this thing finished fast is on the springboard. Vicious combination of strikes. Like he's got 11 arms and feet. Setting it up. Boom. Oh my gosh. Terminating knee smash. We're gonna see it. What power. Sit down, power bomb. You have to question what kind of malintent is behind a power bomb with that much force. And Giovanni's resolve might be wavering here. Vinci's not showing any capacity to fight back. Side kick. Second to last entrant. Next into the gauntlet is Ludwig Kaiser. Just look at the WWE Universal Champion. This guy's already hurting, and he's only in the second fight of the gauntlet. Of course he's hurting. Vinci wasn't in that first match to win. He was looking to hurt the champ. And what do you think Ludwig Kaiser is going to do in this match? Haven't you learned never to count the WWE Universal Champion out, Corey? Oh, what a clothesline. And Ludwig can't find a way off the blocks. Yeah, Kaiser really has to show some more resistance. to the back. Oh, the DDT! Nasty right hand! Vicious in Zaguri! The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. He has a task at hand, but prefers to be showboating right now. Oh, a DDT! And Ludwig can't find... 
find a way off the blocks. Yeah, Kaiser really has to show some more resistance. Powerbomb! A powerbomb like that will leave you with bruises and remind you of this moment for days. Twists and turns, but here's our last entrant. The next fall will be in the match. match. This isn't who we expected. Where the heck is Gunther? Must be another tactical move by the ring general. I love it. Can the Dark Horse take down the surprise opponent? What's going on here? Has Ilya Dragunov joined Imperium? He's at least stepped in to replace Gunther tonight in what I assume is an attempt to throw the Dark Horse off his game. What better man to recruit than one you've been to war with? Another incredible chess move by the ring general to punish the champ in this final gauntlet match. And now he's just being pushed around. He's got to reevaluate his approach at this point. for a pin so soon. Spear! Spear! Counter it just in time. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. And Dragunov is brought to a disadvantage now. Evia has to trust his instincts at this point. Starting to see the tolls of this match add up. Spear! Cover! Two! A kick out before three. The end was in sight. Backhand hits the target. Oh my god, what a cross body! We're going to see it. Power. Sit down. Power bomb. Strong kick out there. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. Blast off. Oh, my. Apron same time. Who oh, caught him in the head? Spear. And Dragunov finds himself on the defensive. And Dragunov stuck and looking for a solution. And now gets tossed into the ring. Is it? At last, Dragunov keeps that string of offense in check. Maybe he's found a new source of aggression to battle back with. Clothesline! Face wash. Spear! Off into the pin. Two, and he powers out. You have 
to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, kick connects. Able to sidestep it. Oh, look out. He gets out of the way. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Able to avoid there. Ow. He has a right where he wants him. He's taking a moment to feel the crowd, but he better focus on the opposition. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. That'll stop the count. This match will continue. I'm glad that wasn't the end of things. There's two! Fights at it, two. That is just pure instinct at this point. <laughs> Setting it up. Boom! plan has failed. Hang on. Got their front by the Intercontinental title. And the champ is down. It's time for the Age of Imperium. I just got a message from WWE.com. They ran a poll, and the majority of the WWE Universe thinks that it's Gunther's time to rise. Maybe the WWE Universe didn't see me take out two-thirds of Imperium in their hired gun. Or maybe it's that the Age of Imperium has such a nice ring to it. Epic. What do they even call your run, huh? All this time as WWE Universal Champion, has anyone ever actually said it's your era? They don't have to say it. They know. Well, good news! After that gauntlet match, Miz decided that this rivalry has had the proper buildup. So you'll be defending the undisputed WWE Universal Championship against Gunther at Night of Champions in a no disqualification match, just like you wanted. Stacking the deck against me. Must be Friday. The following is scheduled for one fall and is for the Undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Introduce the challenger from Vienna, Austria. 
I'm calling it now. Tonight is finally the night when we see this fraud of a WWE Universal Championship run come to an end. The champ has stood up against every challenge that has come his way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You both sound like broken records protecting this guy. History has proven that the Dark Horse can overcome. Not Gunther, not tonight. Look at this. Finds the table, and guys, I do not see the table being long for this world. He's back in the ring. Ooh, clothesline delivered. Ooh, sledgehammer to the body. This is not for the fan of heart. One wicked attack after another. Out and he has all the time he wants. Lariat! Is it enough? Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. Spear! That was vicious. <laughs> Setting it up. Thunderous clothesline. against him now. Perhaps Gunther needs to go back to the drawing board. Uh-oh. Harlem sidekick. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? Ow. Bam. Oof. Up and down the hard way. Oh, oh, oh gosh. to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. Shifts it back onto him. Hoist it up. And we're frozen. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm has shifted. How did he do that? It is just unbelievable. And Guther's tank has got to be running low, guys. I don't know what his game plan is now. This could be an opportunity. Uses an elbow to disrupt that attack. Fends off the attack with an elbow. Man, just a multitude of strikes. Rights and lefts, elbows, knees, all of them lethal. This ends right here. He's got him up. Does the official not see him removing the champion into the cover? The champion retains. Here is your winner. And still, the undisputed WWE This keep happening? How does the WWE Universal Champion keep surviving impossible odds? He just beat the longest reigning Intercontinental Champion in WWE history. And he is on his way to another record now, Corey. Roman's record.
before we introduce our next guest, let's set the stage. Cody Rhodes is still the world heavyweight champion on Raw, providing some stability after a tumultuous period that saw several champions come and go. I don't understand why we do these recaps. Our audience watches the product. Nonetheless, I'll play ball. On SmackDown, after continuing to dominate, the dark horse has become the workhorse, now holding the undisputed WWE Universal Championship for three plus years. Didn't Miz and Roman Reigns think the champion stint would only last three days? And now he's approaching Roman's record-setting run. <laughs> Unbelievable. Why don't we ask Miz about that misguided prediction right now? Please welcome our guests, the SmackDown and Raw general managers, The Miz and William Regal. First of all, I take offense to the accusation that I ever doubted my champion. I know how to pick a horse, and in this case, I was behind the dark horse since day one. That's rubbish. You never wanted him to be champion, and you've done everything in your power to try to put an end to his reign. Don't insult the audience, Mike. They watch the product. That's what I've been saying. You want to do this, Regal? At least I have a cohesive show. No one can keep track of what's going on on Raw. It's like a freaking middle school play. Guys, come on. How do you even know what's happening on your show? You're too busy of filming episodes of your terrible reality show that no one watches. You just think you're better than me because you've made a living on the myth that you're some kind of technical wrestling genius. Well, I'm here to tell you, no one who matters cares. I agree with some of what you said. I am better than you. That's why they made me the general manager of the A-Show. Okay, maybe we take a break, yeah? No, we're not finished here. You think Raw is the A-Show? Yes, I do. But we can officially answer that question in the ring at Survivor Series. War Games! Fine. SmackDown will see you and beat you at War Games. You're pathetic. We'll see who's pathetic, mate. Okay, let's get to that break. I am absolutely done with that overrated, blubbering British buffoon Regal. He thinks Raw is better than SmackDown? Well, at War Games, the blue brand will reign supreme, especially with you as our team captain leading the way. Hold on. Did you just name me SmackDown's team captain? Yeah, why wouldn't I? You're our champion. You've had the title on lockdown for years now. Yeah, despite everything you've done to try to take it from me. I mean... I assumed you were going to pick anyone but me. Where is this coming from? You sound like Regal. I've been Team Dark Horse since the beginning. Man, I am shocked you think I feel that way. Whatever, Miz. Who else do you have to round out our side? I got your old BFF Ben Balor on board. You're welcome. And even better, I'm going to let you choose your other two teammates. See? Told you I'm on your side. I still find that hard to believe. So Finn and two other partners of my choice. I'll see what I can come up with. 
Great. Make sure you choose carefully, though, since Raw has all champions and an established faction making up three quarters of their team. But no pressure. You got this. I'm going to get right to the point. You need me for war games. Okay, I'll cut to the chase too. I'm 3-0 against you. So what makes you think you're worthy of being part of Team SmackDown? I've been in two war games matches, which is two more than your zero. And Finn, he's never been in one either. You need my experience. In fact, you guys should be begging me to join your team. I don't know about all that. And even if I did want you on our team, I don't think there's any way I could trust you. You don't need to trust me. I'll be your hired gun. You tell me who to take out, and I'll get the job done. I'll think about it. No, I meant that literally. Tell me who to take out, and I'll go do it. I shouldn't have to, but if it proves you need me for war games, then I will. Okay, fine. But I want you to do this in an actual match. Not attacking someone from behind, like you usually do. Whatever. Just name an opponent. Go try to beat... Damien Priest. Then we'll talk. Done. Kevin Owens always has a malicious look in his eye, but tonight I'm seeing an extra violent twinkle. Now, there are rumors that the WWE Universal Champion is looking at Kevin Owens for a possible World Games partner. Kevin is out to prove himself as one. Snap Mare right into the surfboard stretch. And breaks the hole, but damage has been done. Oh, clothesline! Just using their foot as a weapon. So ruthless. From the apron, all the way to the outside. Delivered into the barricade. Oh, right to the back. This match grinded him down a little. Boom, head first. On 
the mark. Owens taking the upper hand in a big way. Priest has to find a way to right the ship here. Pulled back into the hip toss. There's a lot of hard ways to land, but that might be the hardest. Shoulder tackle. Ooh. Scooped up. Tilt a world slam. Well scattered reversal there. Implanted by the DDT. Kevin Owens with the torture rack. Oh. Into the neck breaker. Into the pin attempt. And he easily stops the ref's count. Staying in this one. Caught him with a big boot. On the mark. And Priest might be in some pain following that attack. And it's like KO only gets more aggressive as the fight goes on. This is not going to end well. Exploder suplex. KO with the torture rack applied. And into the count. And there's the kick out. He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to. Here it comes. Planted with a neck breaker. And Priest is being controlled here. He just turned this into the KO show. Owens. Oh, oh, Kevin Owens. Pop up power bomb. That was a power bomb. Whoa. This is surprising, Byron. Yeah, I think he was just looking to soften him up a little here. Uh-oh! Stunner! KO can end this now. Great officiating as the ref noticed he was on the ropes. Cover! He kicks out with force. What stamina. It's truly impressive to completely beat the count here. And you gotta wonder what else Kevin Owens needs to end this. He turns it around. Into the hip toss. Uh oh. Oh, not today. Caught by surprise with the DDT. Oh, taking it right to him. No waiting. What a boot. Tossed around like a Attacks being poured on by KO. Yeah, Priest needs to shift wherever his focus is over to the task at hand. Bang! What a move! Kevin Owens clearly not afraid of a little fight. I don't know if this is a show of confidence or a wasted opportunity to attack your opponent. You can see as he rises how vulnerable of a position he's in. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. We could have been looking at a count out there. Yeah, you just know that would have been a deflating risk. Uh-oh. Stop! Feeling like it's over for Priest. Looking for the victory! Two! An emphatic victory! Here is your winner, Kevin Owens! A tough loss for Damian Priest here tonight. This is only going to create a more dangerous and unhinged Damian Priest.